All right, goal three of stage five, where we have to hit the target speed of 289.6 kph, so just under 290, five times in these essentially two laps. So I uh, have to get some upgrades first of all to deal with the speed elements of the car. But anyway, my strategy was to um, let Zoe pass at the beginning. Um, and let her get away so I can have a clear path down this main pit straight to hit the target speed first instance. And then uh, down the after the second corner, down here we get to hit our second instance of the speed target. And ideally, we would like to hit the third instance by once again drafting behind Zoe. We can get a little bit of help from gravity here as we go downhill. Um, getting close, but uh, didn't make it that time. So that means I have to set the three more instances in the second lap because um, normally, uh, before the final sort of the chicane, this downhill pit is uh, this is a section that I always consider the fastest section, but in this car, um, not so much. I wasn't able to keep it clean. So we'll do the same strategy as the lap one. Uh, so we go and then have a clear path so we can actually uh, hit that target of 289 and change. And Zoe's sufficiently got a space that I can get a nice clear uh, line through that first corner, get some you know, good speed heading into it. So when we reach near the end, we are able to hit that one more target mark. Uh, I was a little close, so I had to um, go sideways there at the end. Um, and then the final chance to hit that target speed here. There we go, and not enough tarmac, so I'll have to do it once again sideways and uh, uh, let Zoe kind of catch me from skidding off track as there is no off track allowed. I think, sort of like the previous uh, stage, there's a little bit of off track allowed, but this time they don't give us a timer, which is kind of unfortunate. And then, sort of like the previous uh, challenges up to this point, actual rank that we have to finish, like finishing in third place, it's not really all that bad. But, um, yeah, this one did require me to uh, pick up just four uh, racing dollar upgrades, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the cost combined is just under 300,000, so you know that ain't too bad. No gold, um, so I mean, certainly we've been gaining gold as we run through this event so far. So, yeah, uh, basically, upgrading uh, getting the first tier upgrade on engine, drivetrain, body, and exhaust the four elements that mainly deal with the top speed and. Uh, acceleration because those are obviously the two things that uh, I was lacking um, so yes so there we go engine drivetrain body and exhaust on one all right so that got me through this uh, goal three the first challenge in this event that required me to get some upgrades so anyway that will do it for this goal and we'll continue on to the final goal in the next video so stay tuned and we'll catch you guys there